Hey everyone, Ellie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a project to share with you guys. So I used my Cricut for the very first time. You guys, I got my Cricut in December for Christmas and I only tested it out with the paper that it comes. So it gives you like a test project and that was the only thing I did and it's been months later <laughs> and I barely, barely started using it. Um, because I wanted to make a tumbler for my daughter, um, a little tumbler that had, you know, class of 22. Um, she's graduating, so I wanted to, you know, be able to gift this to her. So I actually bought two of these tumblers from Joann's. My sister was super kind to get me, um, you know, she gifted me money so that I can buy myself whatever I wanted at Joann's. So I was like, yes, I'm going to buy myself some products for my Cricut. And I did, and I've been holding on to them ever Ever since Christmas so I bought two of these tumblers they are the 16 ounce BPA free double wall plastic tumblers and it includes the straw and so it's a really nice little size it's super cute I bought two of them because um, I think I might make either one more graduation one um, originally I bought it for myself so I can make myself a tumbler for the summer for coffee or iced coffee but um, I think I'm going to make one more graduation one. So we'll see. If I do, I will definitely share how it comes out with you guys or how it comes out with you guys. <laughs> um, but let me show you guys. This is the one that I made for her. Let me tell you guys, it took me about four hours just to make this little tumbler. Oh my goodness, I was getting stressed out. I was about to give up and I was like, no, I'm going to pull through and I'm just going to really go for it. And I did, and I don't regret it. I love it. I love, love, love how it turned out. There's definitely a lot that I still have to learn about using the Cricut. Thank goodness for tutorials on YouTube. Because for the most part, I like to figure things out on my own and not really look at tutorials because I'm just that kind of person. But when it comes to the Cricut, you better believe I'm going to be all over those tutorials. I already started saving some. And if there's any that you guys recommend that are really good, definitely leave them in the comments down below. But I love how this one turned out, you guys. So this one says class of, and then it has the little graduation cap, 22. I added three little gold stars and then the diploma. So let me tell you guys, um, one, I have to learn how to weld the letters because all of my letters... I had to put them on one by one, which is, you know, probably the, I had to print these twice because the first set I broke and then the second set, it took me quite a bit because I had to take them off one by one individually, put them on one by one individually. And then on top of that, you know, my eye coordination, you guys know my eye coordination totally sucks. So it's probably a little unbalanced, you know, you can't really tell when you're looking at it from far away. Otherwise, it just looks like, oh, it's so cute. Um, but uh, yeah, and then, you know, the F, I had to tilt it a little bit to make it fit because I didn't want it to go over this little layer because there's a little hump there. Um, but overall, you know, it looks really cute. It has class of and then same thing with the 2022 I didn't weld it together so when it printed it printed each um, number separate so um, you know I tried my best to you know align it as best as I could when adding them on there um, the stars were really easy to do um, the little graduation cap was really easy to do the size maybe I could have did it a little bit smaller but again I'm just learning when it looks on the computer it looks like it's already small <laughs> but when it prints it actually prints a little bigger so I got to keep that in mind um, but overall I really like that it kind of takes up the entire front part of the tumbler it just it you know I, it just looks really cute so I love the fact you know that it looks nice and big um, I was really proud of myself for layering this down perfectly. Um, now, this is the vinyl that I used for this one. It's Premium Permanent Glossy Vinyl. And this one, let me tell you, it's really easy to um, use the transfer tape. Um, put it on here, use the transfer tape, etc. I did it exactly how it was supposed to be done. But um, I did end up having like two little bubbles. So if you guys know any secrets 
for not having the bubbles um, leave them in the comments down below um, and then the other thing is that these um, this is the one that I used for the class of 2022 and then this is the one that I used for the stars now this material is completely different it does say that it's permanent premium vinyl but it's more of a matte glitter but for some reason my transfer tape was not sticking to it so what I did was um because it wasn't sticking to it I had to with my tweezers I put the star on here directly and then I cut off a small piece of transfer tape and I put it on top and then I just kind of blended it in there I assume this is what makes it stick onto the tumbler so that it lasts longer. Um, but yeah, so if you guys know why that was happening, I don't know if I bought the wrong vinyl um, or if this is just used for specific like projects or is this not meant to be used with transfer tape. Again, I wish I should I should have saved the wrapper so that I could have told you guys exactly what kind of vinyl this is. But it just says it's the permanent premium vinyl. Whereas to this one, it says it's the premium of permanent glossy permanent brilliant vinyl. So this one, you know, the transfer tape, it's stuck on there really easy. I put it on here. I peeled it off. Boom. But this, oh my gosh, I couldn't. It was not sticking at all. So again... Any word of advice, definitely leave it in the comments down below. And then um, the other thing is that when I printed the diploma, I thought it was going to print with the entire thing like filled in color. But it didn't. It only printed the outer layer. So I guess when I'm looking at the image, maybe that's something that I have to look at. Is it going to print out like the whole thing actually? Or is it just printing out like the outer layer? Because as you can see, that's kind of what happened here. Um, I had to end up taking out the inner stuff. And then I was left with this. But either way, I love how that looks. It looks really pretty. Super cute. I'm obsessed with how this turned out, you guys. And... Um, my daughter loved it she loved it she thought it was so cute so for my first project I give myself an eight you guys <laughs> I think it came out so good um you know aside from the little things that I have to learn and the techniques and stuff it's just it's really really cute and I'm obsessed and I can't wait to make another one so once I make this one I will definitely show you guys but that's pretty much it I wanted to share it with you guys um yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know, you know, did I do good? Did I, you know, design it pretty good? <laughs> Leave it all in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.